Kalongo si wavutika Angori abe Ndi mavuto ya mziko Haribe zovara Haribe chakudia Haribe kota Bihira Koma be kuri yesu Eta zonse ziku vuta Moyo wako kuri yesu Anyamura mavuto ya koyo nse Eta zonse we Eta zonse ziku vuta Moyo wako kuri yesu Anyamura we Anyamura mavuto ya koyo nse Anyamura we Oh, anya mura we, anya mura we, anya mura mabuto ya koyo. Oh, anya mura we, oh, anya mura we, anya mura we, anya mura mabuto ya koyo. Let us own the way. Let us own the way. Anya mura we, anya mura mabuto ya koyo. Oh, let us own the way. Let us own the way. Oh, anya mura we, anya mura mabuto ya koyo. Oh, anya mura we. Oh, anya mura we. Good evening, beloved children of God. Uh, we want to welcome you to the wonderful uh, Friday Vespers uh, this evening, as even as we welcome the Sabbath uh, in these hours. We also uh, want to thank the Lord for this privilege of worship, even through mediums as such that really come with uh, technology. Um, this evening, we'll really have a very interesting uh, topic that the Lord has impressed upon us 
to just share, even as we are in this uh, calamity or a crisis of uh, the coronavirus that everyone of us is hit with. Uh, before we start, let's just uh, have a word of prayer, and we get to dive into what the Lord has for us this evening. We are praying. Our gracious and loving Father, we are so grateful. We are so thank you for Heavenly Father because your word is true and indeed is life. And even your word tells us that in all things be thankful unto the Lord. And we want to say thank you for our lives, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the good health that we are enjoying. And we also want to thank you for other lessons that we are learning even as we go through this crisis. We pray for the Holy Spirit to be with us and you to help us that we may understand your word and appreciate it, Heavenly Father, even amidst uh, the panic moods because of this uh, uh, disease that we are going through. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Uh, this wonderful evening, I just want to share under uh, the topic spiritual virus precautionary measures. Spiritual virus precautionary measures. And I want to start by reading or rather quoting a situation that had happened when Jesus Christ was on earth with the disciples from the book of Mark chapter 4. Uh, when you read, you start reading it from verse 10, you will discover that um, the disciples went to Jesus. The, the Bible says, and when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. And when we look at the whole uh, quotation or the bone of quotation around the question that the disciples goes to Jesus Christ and ask him a question that why do you get to speak in parables as you get to deliver a message and Jesus responds to them and tells them uh, from verse 11 that unto you unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom but unto them that are without all of these things are done in parables and when we look at the parables that Jesus Christ would speak and deliver the message through to the disciples was the parables that had to do with our day to day or their day to day life situations and so when he begins to speak to them in parables he says there was a sower that sowed the seed and some fell on the ground some fell on the thorns some fell on the tree these are parables that everyone by then would relate because farming was one and among them really an occupation that they would do and even when he wants to speak even another message you speak to them and say tell them the parable of a lost coin because coins then were part of them even their time and that was if anything the medium of exchange so he speaks parables and he speaks his message he brings his message by bringing what people would relate and this evening i just want to share some things really that are to attach or that are attached to our spiritual lives but relating them with what we can relate currently or the language that is going on currently and this language is the language of the COVID-19 uh, disease that we are facing and that is amidst us and we have heard the languages and a lot of words and a lot of grammar some of us really since our school days and up to now some of these words we are hearing for the first time epicenter uh, coronavirus we have uh, a quarantine we have the lockdown we have isolation social distance these are words that if anything to most of us are really new including me myself and when we get to discuss 
through this topic when we're going to talk about spiritual virus precautionary measures we are going to use the same language that we understand but trying to understand really how then can we take precautions in as far as avoiding the spiritual virus is concerned and all of us we agree with me that the spiritual virus that we are talking about is really the issue of sin because that has been the greatest battle I was something that we've been battling in since the inception of man or since man sinned in the Garden of Eden as we draw the background and even the foundation of sin from that uh, from that instance that had happened in the Garden of Eden so when we we look at these precautions I just I just came up with about 10 of them that we are going to go through together even as we going to be relating them to the verses that the Lord has uh, has impressed upon us and one of them is wash your heart do you agree with me that the term that is ongoing is you need to wash your hands you need to wash your hands uh, after 20 minutes for 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 20 seconds and and the, it's, it's on and on and on and it's very difficult because we are used to washing our hands when we see Shima uh, before us we are used we are used to washing our hands probably when we want to eat uh, something that should um, where our five fingers are concerned but now we need to wash we need to wash what is it that we need to wash as Christians we need to wash our hearts and that's what God really desires according to Psalm chapter 73 verse 1 we will realize that God requires to see our hearts being clean and that's what God desires and when we read Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 the Bible says that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God Therefore, it is God's desire that our hearts are washed. Just like we are washing hands in this COVID-19, God requires us to wash our hand, our hearts, rather, even amidst this calamity that we are going through. And the other precautionary measure that we can look at to avoid the spiritual virus is to keep the social distance from evil. Some would call it keep the physical distance from evil. If you need, you can say keep the emotional distance from evil. If possible, keep the mind distance from evil. If you want, you can say keep the spiritual distance from evil. And indeed, God desires that we keep the distance from evil. According to Job chapter 28, uh, verse 28, we will discover that Job gives us really God speaks to Job and says that you need to depart from evil. You need to depart from evil. For departing from evil maketh understanding. And we can take time to read Job 28 verse 28 for us to understand more. The keeping our social distance from evil. The other precautionary measure that we can look at is avoid the crowd of wickedness and wicked men avoid the crowd of wickedness and wicked men time and again we've heard our minister and the other health health experts and even through other avenues the ho the, the who the cdc they are telling us that we need to avoid the issue of crowding and even god himself in his words he tells us to avoid ourselves crowding ourselves really with wickedness and even with wicked man according to Psalm 1 verse 1 the Bible says blessed is the man that stays away from the ungodly and that does not sit in the counsel of the wicked ones and that is God's desire that we stay away from wickedness we stay away from evil the other precautionary measure which can be the fourth one that we can take to avoid the spiritual virus is cover your mind from being infected from the sneeze of sin and the hatred this is not the language these are languages that we are relating with today they'll tell you you need to cover yourself with a mask as you also need to cover yourself as you cough you need to cover yourself or with uh, uh, as you bend like that just just in your elbow the, 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 and, and God when he comes to the Christians for us to avoid spiritual virus he says cover your mind from being infected from the sneeze of sin and hatred 
And Leviticus 19 verse 17 tells us of how much God would want us to cover ourselves and our minds really to avoid abhorring evil and abhorring hate even with our brothers. In Philippians chapter 2 verse 5, Jesus speaks of let this mind, rather Paul speaks to the Philippians, let this mind that was in Christ Jesus be in you. What was the kind of mind that was in Christ Jesus? It was the mind of saying, this is the summation of the commandments of God. Love your Lord, your God with all your heart and mind and your neighbor as yourself. In other ways, that is the opposite of harboring and sneezing a hatred and sin. The other precautionary measure that we can take is do not shake your hands with abomination. Deuteronomy 25 verse 16 describes what it means really if we are to shake our hands with abomination. By all means, God really admonishes us. By all means, God indeed gives us these instructions, these precautionary measures to take so that we avoid the spiritual violence. Do not shake your hands with abomination. Deuteronomy 25 verse 16 gives us the instructions and backs the instruction of God unto us in as far as not shaking our hands with abomination. The, the other precautionary measure that we can look at is do not hug heresy and false teachings. We will understand that today they, they will tell us do not do the hugging and, and do not even do the other things really. So when it comes to the instruction of God, he says do not hug heresy and false teachings. These, these are some of the precautionary measures that when you read the book of first Peter, first, second Peter rather, uh, second Peter 2 verse 1, the Bible says that now even then, there were false prophets. Even today, the false prophets will be amidst you. And we have seen that. Even the start of the COVID-19, we had people that were rising up saying uh, COVID-19 will end on these particular dates. And those days have passed and people have celebrated birthdays within the COVID-19. Married five weddings have passed have been them. And these things haven't come to pass. And God clearly admonishes us from his word that we need to be watchful. And we do not need to hack the heresies that come through. The heresies that come through and even the false teachings that can persuade us. Even in the whole COVID-19 disease, we realize that there are a lot of false teachings that are coming. People have come up with a lot of conspiracy theories. No, it's from this. No, it's like this. No, it's about this. We have all these things, but all what God admonishes us, he gives us the guide, which is the Bible. Just like we are following the guidelines of the Ministry of Health in Zambia, let's follow the guidelines guidelines of the Bible as Christians as we live on on this earth. The other precautionary measure that we can take is be safe so that you will be safe. Jeremiah 17 verse 14 is one of the verses that you can refer to to understand. Proverbs talks about the name of the Lord is the strong tower where the Christians or the righteous run to eat and they are safe and they are saved. So as Christians, our safety and our salvation is us running to Jesus Christ, who is going to be our place of refuge and we will be safe. Just like they are saying, stay at home as, as a citizen of Zambia. Stay safe, stay at home if you can't cover up, if you can't mask up, if you can't wash your hands, if you can't social distance. Even Jesus Christ is saying, you need to stay safe. And the way to stay safe is for you. The way you are staying at home, you need to stay in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then the other precautionary measure that is there is sanitize your life with the word of God. And this was Brother Kabani's sermon, actually the sermon title on, 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 as last Sabbath. And here we understand from Psalm 1 verse 2, the psalmist says, I delight in thy word, O Lord, and I meditate upon it day and night and even joshua said the same thing this book of the law i will keep in my heart that i may not sin i may not sin and this is all what the word of god does unto us john chapter 5 verse 39 says that seek ye the scriptures for in them think there is internal life sanitize yourself with the scriptures for in them 
there is internal life sanitize yourself with the scriptures for the scriptures are sanctified and they are truth sanitize yourself with the scriptures because the scriptures are the lamp to thy feet and the light to thy path as you move on this sin of earth the other precautionary measure is that we need to take is in case you notice any symptoms in case you notice any symptoms of sin there is a helpline the helpline for covid 19 in zambia is 909 that when you call it there is the help that will haste and come into your aid when you call this helpline as a christian is there is that emergency response to your situation as a Christian. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, the Bible tells us that call unto me and I will answer and show you things marvelous, things wonderful or things. God indeed is ready and always ready to hear us whenever we call upon him. So brethren, in case we notice any symptoms of sin, any swerving away, any, any, any wickedness, getting dominance in our lives, God admonishes us to call upon him. And actually, in, in, in 1 John 1 verse 9, he says that if you confess your sins, if you confess your sins, you call upon me, you confess your sins. Actually, in Chronicles, he speaks more and louder on the issue of calling, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and call upon my name, will I come? Forgive their sins and heal their land. In case we notice all those symptoms of sin, brethren, God really encourages us to call upon his name. The other and the last precautionary measure that we should take is always to remember to boost our spiritual immunity with faith and the power of the Holy Spirit. God has the immunity. Uh, rather, God has the diet for us to boost our immunity system as Christians. Just like uh, our health experts, even amid this, this COVID, they are giving us guidelines, some of the things and advices on some of the foods that we may take for us to continue our uh, boosting our immune system some of the things that we should do we exercise we do a lot we do the jogs and the like so that we boost our immune system and god gives us that admonition and jude 1 verse 20 jude 1 verse 20 to 21 uh, the bible the bible has got that admonition and really gives us that um admonition uh, and, and also gives us that assurance of how we can boost our immune system. Jude 1 verse 20 to 21, the Bible says, But ye beloved, but ye beloved, building upon yourselves, building upon ourselves, our immune system in other words, our spiritual immune system, building upon yourselves your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. We need to pray and we need to be in our most holy faith keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ and to internal life. As we go through the crisis of COVID-19, as we take all these precautionary measures that our beloved health experts and all those involved and other stakeholders that are concerned in as far as this issue of COVID-19 is concerned as frontliners and all liners, whichever line, our backliners or central liners, we also need to parallel take the precautionary measures to avoid the spiritual virus. And these precautionary measures, are as, as, we have, as we have discussed, wash our heart. Keep the social distance from evil. Avoid the crowd of wickedness and wicked men. Cover your mind from being infected from the sneeze of sin. Do not shake hands with abomination. Do not hug heresy and false teachings. Be safe, child of God. Be safe. And the only way to be safe is to be and to run to the place of refuge, which is the name of Jesus Christ. Sanitize your life. Sanitize your life with the word of God. And in case you notice any symptoms, call upon God and God will come through and save you, heal you, forgive you, and give you the comfort of righteousness. And always, always remember, remember that when you stay on with God, he'll boost your spiritual immune system for you to stand even the vows and vows of the, of the evil ones. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against spiritual 
principalities and all the things that are higher in the air and in the spiritual realm. May God bless us, even amid this, this whole COVID-19, and realizing that as we stay on and stay on with Jesus Christ, who is the great tower, the great tower, who is the place of refuge, we will remain safe and be safe even from this disease. May God bless us. Amen. Our gracious and loving Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you that from time in memorial, since the exception of us, Heavenly Father, as human beings, your beloved people that you created, you've always given us instruction. Even from the Garden of Eden, you still gave them instructions on what to do and what not to do. And even now, through your love, you've showed unto us through Jesus Christ who came to die for us, you still give us instructions. And we want to ask and pray that Heavenly Father, give us the grace that we may draw near unto thee, and you will definitely draw near unto us. That we may resist the evil one that may bring the spiritual virus in our lives and be saved. We ask that may the name of the Lord be our place of refuge and the great tower that when we run and be in it, we'll always be safe and be safe from the spiritual virus. Bless us now, even as we continue living with you, for you, and even as we continue, Heavenly Father, being hopeful, realizing that with the Lord in charge, all things all things indeed will work out for good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blessing of life and for the opportunity to really communion with you, even through the sharing of this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.